Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 19th of May 2021, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we transition into the middle of the week here, what do you need to be aware of? Well, so far, over the month of May, we've seen gold prices rise 6%. In fact, on Tuesday, they broke out to four-month highs, which many of you know We've been building into positions very early on gold and silver. And as always, we like to bank into strength. So far this week, in fact, over our gold and silver positions, we've banked over 2,000 points profit with our members at the Gold and Silver Club. So of course, for every one lot that you'll be trading, that's $20,000 of profit. For every 10 lots that you'll be trading, that's $200,000 of profit that you will be benefiting with us and our members at the Gold and Silver Club. So it's been another massive week here. A lot of what we discussed with you previously has really played out here on the metals to keep buying into those pullbacks that we've observed over really the last month. As many of you know, we were building positions on gold between 1680 to 1700s. We also built into a number of positions on silver between 24 to 25 US dollars per ounce. We've taken the opportunity over the course of this week to again bank on that strength where we've broken out to four month highs on the precious metals. So with that, where we're poised at the moment as we go into the middle of the week, we have the minutes of the FOMC which is scheduled on Wednesday. And then bear in mind going into next week, it will be the last week of the month. We're then transitioning into a bank holiday in the USA and Europe on the very last day of the month on the 31st of May. Overall, what I would watch out for at the moment would be traders coming in very late on the move, potentially FOMOing in at much higher prices. Right now, silver is above $28 per ounce. You know, of course, that we've been buying in much lower. We've talked you through that on silver asset of the day, right, in fact, at the beginning of April when we were building those positions between $24 to $25 per ounce. In fact, we've continued to stack over the last six weeks building positions to the point where we've got 10 positions on silver, but we subsequently bank some of those profits now, banking into strength, but we've still got the majority of our exposure running at the moment where we want to capitalize on further breakouts as we transition into the summer. It's very important that you are aware of the cycles here with the metals, but at the same time, you don't want to get caught buying the top of a move here. We're likely still to get opportunities to buy the dips in the coming days, I would watch out for the potential next week of end of month outflow profit taking towards the end of the month, particularly as a lot of commodities have broken out to multi-year highs. I mentioned this before, copper prices, they broke out to all-time highs, hitting our profit target. We've seen palladium prices break out to all-time highs. Alongside that, of course, gold and silver breaking out now to four-month highs. We've seen energy prices up 250% in a year. Lumber prices up 500% now. In the last 12 months, we continue to transition into the super cycle. Of course, you know, CPI data came out much stronger than expected last week. And it's just going to be a massive opportunity for you to capitalize in the weeks and months ahead here. You definitely do not want to miss out, but you don't want to get caught buying right at the top of the move. And at the same time, we've seen many traders out there get liquidated by panic selling out of positions, particularly at the end of March, beginning of April, just before the markets had a huge slingshot move higher as we continue to track and update you on every single week. In fact, we've capitalized on this massively with our members at the Gold and Silver Club over the last couple of months, not only on the metals, but also on energies as well. It's been a phenomenal move here as we continue to push through the commodity super cycle. So again, you really want to avoid these gimmicky indicators in the market that give you delayed confirmations. They end up meaning that you either buy in too late or you don't get triggered into the trade at all, or you end up panic selling out at the low, or you may just be getting chopped up a lot in the market. You definitely want to avoid all of that noise Make sure that you're utilizing data, market intelligence, statistics. Be aware of the big major catalysts which will have the biggest impact on the market. Again, you want to be aware of the seasonal plays in the market. That will help you massively too. Sentiment, so understanding the difference between extreme greed and extreme fear, when it's best for you to capitalize in the markets. As I mentioned, we like to be early into trades and we bank into strength as we've done again over the course of this week as we've seen metals break out to five month highs. Alongside that, be aware of the intermarket correlations, macroeconomics, the ratios 
in the market. That will help you a lot too. And also understand the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and the quarterly cycles, and further compound that with an understanding of capital flows. And finally, of course, you want to be trading the same way that the hedge funds, the money managers, the banks, and the institutions are by understanding exactly how they're positioning themselves in the market too. So with that, if you would like to learn the research driven approach to the market, join our community of successful traders and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click on the link below today's report in order to make an application to become a member of the Gold and Silver Club.